This beautiful quartz is one of the most useful stones in the area where I live, Central Texas, and you can find a ton of this stuff everywhere you look, especially in creeks. Proved another use for it today, which is in the earth oven. And they use all these rocks, quartz rocks, cobbles, which I found on a hill. What I did is I built up a fire, got it burning real hot, then dumped all these rocks on top of that, put some more wood on top and burned it some more. Basically the point is to transfer heat into the rocks and then cover that with some leaf and more leaf and then bury the whole thing. The earth oven is a very common tool for cooking used by indigenous people all over the earth and it's a paleolithic technology and it features extremely prominently. I usually use it for like a large quantity of food but I wanted to bake these taro roots in a traditional manner. But quartz is nice because it doesn't explode when you burn it really hot. That's the main property you're looking for with the earth oven. Also just good heat transfer. But I used flint last time because you can actually heat treat flint to make it more nappable and I was like we'll do both but it, some of them actually exploded and sent tiny little razor sharp shards all over my yard so I don't recommend using flint but I found quartz works extremely well but I wouldn't gather it from a creek because if there's water trapped inside of it it's probably going to explode so I gathered all of these from a top of a hill in an area that's just not much vegetation it's pretty easy to gather all of this in about 10-15 minutes and as you can see from this one being all chewed up and this one too they also make really great hammer stones for flint napping and it's the primary hammer stone type that I use. 